Local activists are renewing calls for gun reform following last week's shooting at an elementary school in Texas. 19 students, two teachers died, making it the second deadliest school shooting in U.S. history. As WSAV's Brian Ray tells us, local protesters from the March for Our Lives four years ago are hopeful that change is now on the horizon. In 2018, hundreds of Savannians rallied for stricter gun laws after the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Students at Savannah Arts Academy also organized a walkout in a show of solidarity, among them Sierra Kareem. There was a lot of really charged emotion among the students and it was just what we've been saying for years and years now, enough is enough. The March for Our Lives movement brought out more than a million people in cities across the country. Demonstrators hoped school shootings would come to an end after the one in Parkland, which left 17 people dead. But four years later, an Education Week analysis shows there have been 119 since. Like four years later and 10 years after Sandy Hook, we're still having this conversation. Nothing's changed. In fact, actually, no I can't say nothing's changed. It's gotten worse. You know, it's scary that, you know, you're going somewhere to learn to to forge a path to create your future. And I have to know that in a second that future can be taken. Activists say school shootings are preventable and are calling on lawmakers to find a solution. But until then, they're preparing to come together once again, hoping their years long calls for change will finally be heard. This is such an awful tragedy and it sucks that, you know, it's just heartbreaking that this had to happen. But I hope that this is, I hope this is the last one. I hope this is, the one that makes enough people say enough is enough. This Saturday, the Savannah Alliance of Pastors will be hosting a gun violence prevention event starting at 1 at First African Baptist Church. Then Saturday, June 11th, activists will come together for a March for Our Lives rally in Daffin Park from 11 to 4.